Hi and welcome back to Down the Shed. So here I have a trailer lock that I've just got from Screwfix, $16.99. This is basically a 50mm hitch lock. Daisy, shut up! That's the keys. Quiet. <coughs> That's the keys uh, cable tied on, slipped off. I've also got a aluminium trailer plug for it. Gonna have to rewire the trailer plug because it's so rusted out in there. There's just no point trying to swap wires over and spell you went on. I need to find a solution for a socket on my car because cheap and their wisdom didn't supply you with a bracket for a second socket. So I might have to get the double adapter plate and uh, use the bolts on the one that holds this one to the car to hold the adapter plate on. So anyway, I'm just looking for my keys. Oh, it's not my keys. Right, we found keys. So I had a bit of change just wrapped around here as a deterrent, but it wouldn't have taken much to get past that. It was just there as a visual aid room. So we can whip this off. They had two types. So yeah, they had one that went up inside and screwed in and locked in. That was about £12 pounds a month, but they didn't have any stock. And this one. Okay, so you just twist the lock, it's sprung. So you can twist it and it springs straight back. Pull that out. I don't think that comes all the way out actually. Right, so the bar don't come all the way out, which is a good thing. So all we need to do is turn it around, lift that up, and clunk it in. Put the bar down, there you go, and it even ratchets itself into, into place. That is now not coming off. That can be undone, but you're not going to get past that. So there we go, we've now got a nice hitch lock. If I turn it around the bar, it'll be too far forward, so it'll be easy to uh, unlock it. Possibility that my people at Trailer Tech can get me a key for this as well. So that's it for this video. A nice, uh, simple solution. Anti theft device. I'm now slightly happier in the fact that this isn't going to fall keys when I'm not here because I do park the car up against it doesn't mean you can't push it out of the way and drag it off and tow it but that should be a bit of an extra terror to anyone wanting to take the car so I'll put one key on these keys and one key on my caravan keys and then I've always got the key for the hitch because if I don't need to get in but I need to move it I don't need the caravan keys 